Have you ever looked at the list of extensions on your Joomla site and wondered what the FOF files are? In today's video, we're going to talk about FOF files and see if there's any that you can remove. Do you need all of them, especially the older ones? Uh, hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thank you for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 205 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite tools, tips, and extensions for building and maintaining Joomla sites. So today's topic is another topic that I saw come up as a result of a question in the Joomla Facebook group. I'll post the link to that to discussion in the video description below. It was answered by Nicholas from Akiba and that who is that's who makes the FOF files. And so uh, we're going to see that. Hey, today's video is brought to you by mysites.guru. Head on over to mysites.guru. Get a free site audit for your Joomla site and while you're there, Check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And remember, if you decide to subscribe, uh, you'll get the first month free. Use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen here and you will see that I have one of my Joomla sites uh, called up here. And what I've done is I've gone to Extensions, Manage, and Managed. You don't want to go to Plugins, this is not how you do that. Extensions, Manage, and Manage, and then I'm filtering for FOF. And when I search for that, I have three, I have actually five files that come up here. Now, the question that was asked in uh, the Facebook group was, uh, are these necessary? It may be even asked, what are they? It just says, are they really needed? Now listen, what are these files? I don't know, but I don't need to know um, whether, you know, I don't need to understand what they do or how they work with good information about what to do with them, to keep them or to lose them. And so uh, these files, as you can see, are all related to Akiba. And so it was uh, Nick himself that replied to that Facebook post. And uh, this is what he said. Now, the other thing I just want to say too is there's a couple of things. If you get this wrong, you're going to break your site. So uh, as always, make sure you back up your site and i recommend using keep a backup for doing that uh but just just watch this whole video for some of the little fiddly things that we're talking about all right so nick says as far as file fof30 and fof30 you do not need those unless you're using an akiba extension that was released before March 2nd. So March 2nd, 2021. So if you have not updated, if you have an extension from Akiba and you've not updated it to the latest version after March 2nd, 2021, you do need file FOF30 and FOF30 here. Or if there's a third party extension using this. Now, I don't know how to tell you whether there's a third party extension using these files. So that's why you really want to back up your site and you might even try turn uh disabling those two extensions first and then going through your site to see if anything else was using it but uh anyways these are not needed if you have updated your akiba all of your akiba extensions since march the 2nd 2021 all right now fof 40 you do need that if you're using any Akiba extension that was released after March 2nd, 2021, all right? So you do, need, if you're using any up-to-date Akiba extension on your uh, website, on your Joomla site, you do need uh, file underscore FOF40, okay? And then for, and now in this, in this post, the person that asked uh, had a different, version of this library file here i'll just bring up the image they had this one here and uh you know it's a different language bibli bibliotech but here's 2.1.b2 and what basically what what nick said about this particular uh version and that corresponds on my site to this library it's actually this weird version here uh he says this uh, that FOF 2.4.3, or this particular one that I was using, it's the last one of, uh, uh, it's, of the ones he's dealing with, this particular library extension, you need to keep that in there because it shares files with 
0.3. And as you'll see, this one is protected, protected extension. You can actually go to the far right here and see that the ID number is very low. So this is core to Joomla. It's, it's very low and you need that. Um, so it uses the same folder. So you cannot remove this one. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was just a file that you could run that would look at your site and remove things that were not needed any longer with these FWF files? And it would be nice, and it is nice, because Akiba has a file like that called Magic Eraser. Now, remember, the links are in the description below. But when we go to this page, you can see Akiba's plans as uh, they were preparing for Joomla 4 around the corner. Of course, Joomla 4 is out. Uh, lots of information here for uh, the different extensions that you use. But for today, what we want to see is down at the bottom of the page under this topic here before upgrading to existing Joomla site. And you will see that they have created a special extension called Magic Eraser, which attempts to automatically remove all remnants of their very old extensions. And that includes the uh, FOF files and anything else. And so what you want to do is go and then you will go here and click on uh, here to download the magic eraser it goes to their github page you're going to scroll down to this bottom here and you're going to download file magic eraser 1.0.0 zip now download that to your file uh, to your computer all right and then here's the real tricky part. You know, we're used to installing plugins or extensions into Joomla so that, uh, and they show they're, they're successfully installed. However, this plugin does not successfully install. What it does, and we'll go, we're gonna show you in the folder here. What it does, and let's go to the back end of the site here. We'll go to extensions, manage and install. What it does is that you drag it into up, you install it as like you would a Joomla extension, but this actually just runs, looks for old Akiba files and things that can be removed. And then once it removes them, then it that's it, its work is done. There is nothing to install. So you can expect to get an error message at the end of this. So for instance, let's try it right now. Upload package file. We're going to uh, bring that file over here. Here it is. And I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right on there. Now we just have to wait for it to run. Now notice it said uh, it automatically removes obsolete extensions. And look, here's a list. It uninstalled uh, library FOF prefix, lib FOF 30, FOF 30, file strapper, and a couple that we didn't even know what to look for and remove media keep a strapper and a bunch and then it says an error well that's cool because not only did we get rid of the fof files uh, there was some other stuff in there i didn't even know to look for so everything is removed that shouldn't uh, be there that wasn't needed there older stuff anymore and that is excellent so uh a little bit fiddly Make sure you back up before you do any of this in case you make a mistake. Pay attention to the details. Follow those links. They're in the video description below. And you will get rid of some stuff you no longer need on your Joomla 3 site. And that's also going to help you with the process of getting ready to update to Joomla 4. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a like. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Ring the bell to get notifications and new things happening here. And uh, until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.